Africa Bank Shore, girl. <laughs> How you doing, boo? I'm Dominique the Diva. Look, sis, I saw you tweet that you had your hair done, so I had to go put my wig on. Oh! <laughs> it wasn't wig day for me. It wasn't wig day. Not That's on Monday. <laughs> I love your hair. Thank you. You always switching it up, sis. Okay, I'm going to make sure my, my angle is good. So shout out to the flow queen in here, 1501's very own. Erica Banks, congratulations on a million streams. Thank streams. you. Congratulations on Bust It. Congratulations. Let me ask you something about Bust It, girl. Okay. Because you got that hot in her sample. Uh -huh. And I was in high school getting in trouble for saying, uh, what Nelly saying that song? My mama heard me say. Take your clothes off? Is it take your clothes off? So, um, so I'm in there. <laughs> so, so I'm like, if I, that was 2008. How old was Erica when Hot and Her came out? What you know? I don't, you know what? I don't know. I was probably about this tall. but I Probably about that tall. <laughs> probably ain't much taller than that now either, but grown. Hello? <laughs> Yes, with the hot in here sample. And we're just uh, so proud of you. Thank you for coming by to talk to us today. How's everything in Dallas and Texas? Because everything is good. Just hot. Very hot. Yes, it is hot. It is very hot in Texas. Yeah. But you're used to that. Born and raised in Dallas, right? I am. I am. Yes. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, I'm from Virginia, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, in the DMV area. I've been here for about three, four four years now back from moving back from LA but a lot of people are still getting like you know catching the vibe of Dallas rap and you say that it's much different than Houston what is the biggest difference you would tell somebody that is just looking listening the biggest difference will probably be the tempos of most music because most music out here is more upbeat it's more dance like you can move around to it more Houston is more slow down it's more Chopped up, you know. Look at you. Seven on four foes, reps in four foes. Okay. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's the, but if I want to turn it up, then you got to come to my side. Okay, then we come to Dallas. I can do that. <laughs> I, I definitely can do that. I'm really mad that the strip, I can't go to the strip clubs right now because that's all your know. songs make me want to do is twerk. And somebody just said that on Twitter yesterday. I said, I know. I wish the clubs was open, y'all. Me too, because I also feel like, you know, new artists like you and a lot of other artists right now that's on fire, like you're getting a just do, but we know how it is. It's summer, but it don't all, it don't feel all the way like summer because we used to standing on couches to it so we can really right. see. <laughs> Just doing whatever. Well, you don't have to worry about that because, you know, with your mixtape and all your new music, it's going to take you all the way into 2021. So what's the biggest way that you've had to pivot this year from you know having plans to do stuff one way and then um it's been a lot of rescheduling for a lot of stuff mm -hmm. um a lot of stuff has been put off like i had college shows set up i had homecoming set up oh they've been canceled you know due to the pandemic and yeah it's crazy like stuff is really being cut you know i know like, like you said, it's okay because everything will carry over into 2021 and it'll be Exactly. Good. So we're excited for you. You know, actually, somebody had hit me just off the rip. You know, I do this. So they're like, oh, you, you want to talk to Erica? And I'm like, Erica, Erica, I know the name. And I'm like, oh, the freestyle. She just hit like a million views, three million views on the freestyle. Duh. Of course, I need to talk to her. She signed to 1501. Everyone's talking about your flow, the flow queen. But I heard that you just started rapping. Yes, this is my third year. This summer makes it my third year recording. How does that feel going from, you know, being into poetry at first, right? And then actually being in the booth? It's fun. Like, it's fun. Um, it's something that I get a, a lot of passion out of. And really, when I was younger is when I was doing the poetry. And then I kind of grew up and outgrew poetry and decided that I wanted to rap. You know, because poetry is music. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that's how I got into it. But really, to be honest, I don't even write poetry no more. But, For real? <laughs> yeah. Like, was it like good poetry? Like, your skin yeah, is the like, color of... See, I wasn't a Maya Angelou, no. Okay. 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I was more like, you know what? It's hard to explain because it's mm -hmm. poetry, but yeah. it, was, it was heartfelt. You felt it. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. So who did you listen to uh, mostly growing up? Growing up, when it came to rap, I was really big on Nicki Minaj, and mm -hmm. I was really big on Missy Elliott because I was really big I'm on music videos. Like, I love yeah. music. 
Yeah, and you know, both of them are very animated. So they really inspired me to want to rap, especially Nicki Minaj. Um, during the Barbie era, I was a yes. bar. I was so into that. So when I grew up, I was like, I want to be like them. Like, I want to yeah. be Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so, Nicki and Missy, those are two iconic females. So if you've been inspired by them, then, you, then you're definitely on the right path. My co-host, DJ Quicksilver, is in here. He said, hey, ladies. Hey. Let's hold it down. This one. So the Flow Queen is here, 1501's very own. Of course, we all know and heard of 1501 from them signing Megan Thee Stallion, too, is also super talented. Girl, but why is it when we women is doing stuff, they always like, oh, I wonder if they like each other. I wonder. But when the men's be up here, y'all be asking them. But when they it comes to know. us, why is that even a question or an issue? That's just how they do us, you yeah. know. That's 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 with anything. That's not even yeah. with just rap. Like even in high school, when I was cheerleading, it was like, oh, like so. Do you like that team over there? And I'm just like, oh, like. <laughs> see, the thing about it is, we smarter than them. Okay, yeah. and it's, and we know that it's enough money for everybody. Am I right? right. Am I right? Right. <laughs> so so who would you like to work with? Because I love this new wave of. You know, it's a lot of female rappers. You, you just spoke on Missy and, and Nikki, and a lot of times when they were in their prime, they had the lane open. Right now, so much space is being shared amongst everybody. So is there anybody that you um, listen to to get ready or that you would like to work with? Yes, yeah, like, it would have to be none other than my two faves, like Nicki Minaj, Missy Elliott. As far as males go, though, I would love to work with Future. I love yeah, Future. So. Me too. Yeah, so hopefully we can um who out here we can get something done. Hey, they say we love you, Erica. Come on, pretty girls love a trap music. I hey, love me some future I too. <laughs> I love me some future too. Oh, you know who else I love right now? I can't Ooh. stop listening to little baby. I, I can't stop listening. I to love little baby. I, how did I miss him? I can't it's stop listening. I always see him, little baby too. Like yeah, sure that would be it. dope. That would be a a dope situation because he got bars, you got bars, and so. You know, a lot of times with the females, they be trying to make sure you can keep up. But I don't think sis will have a problem with keeping oh. up. Oh, <laughs> never. <What>? Never <laughs> that. So tell me about this new project. And for anybody that's just tuning in with Miss uh, Erica, what is it that you want them to know about your project or your favorite track right now on the project and why they should go and download that right now? If you haven't tuned in to my tape, Erica Banks by Erica Banks, go get there right now. My favorite song right now is Tooth That. That's actually the second track. It's featuring B King. Shout out to him. And the whole project is just a vibe to me. Like yeah. it's a song for everything. It's a song for the club. It's a song to slow down and talk about how you feel. It's a song to talk shit. Like it's just a little bit of everything. And that's what I typically like to bring to the table. A little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Not just rap, not just club. So if you haven't tuned in, go tune into it. Find your favorite song and then come back. Okay, and then come back with it because we know you're going to have one. Yeah. Period. What is it that, like, you know, what do you say to those? You know what gets on my nerves? What gets on my nerves is, you know, us out here doing our thing and then fellas be like, mm, well, why y'all rapping about that? Why y'all talking about that? But see, they can talk about anything. Why do you think it's important for us to have a lane where we can exp express ourselves? I feel like that's important because we, too, are artists. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we women, but at the end of the day, we have a voice, too. We want to rap, too. Obviously, we doing it. So I feel like we can talk about whatever we want to talk about as long as the fans like it. I'm all about what the fans like. That's you know? true. So I don't think we as female artists should ever feel like, oh, well, I'm going to steer away from this topic because men think I'll talk about it too much. Like, no. Like, if that's your yeah. lane, bitch, I feel like you should do that. I, that's what's up because I see a lot of people especially when it comes to me being on the radio they'll be like oh why y'all playing that and I'm like that's what y'all want to hear like radio only plays what's popping and what's you know being streamed so that's what the ladies want to hear especially when I'm getting ready sis I need to yeah. <laughs> when I'm about to go this is pre bussy before I'm about to go bussy oh, yeah. I need that <laughs> that vibe of <laughs> getting ready so yeah. what are some other things that you've been doing this quarantine to like keep you sane do you have like any other hobbies or like movies that you like to watch because i know you in texas um yo, with everything being closed and there's not much to do in my free time i do watch movies yes i'm really big on netflix i'm really more of a show person though i like to sit and watch me shows. too yeah but what do you watch? i can't 
I can't find any series right now. I feel like I've watched everything. So this weekend I had to watch movies. But I like to watch series. Like see, okay, so you should check out Imposters. Imposters is Imposters. a really good I just Thanks. got on to that like a few days ago. I think I saw that on there. Oh, okay. I didn't watch it. No, I saw it on there, but I didn't I didn't talk. Oh, oh yeah, somebody you. just said the shy. See? I okay, love the shy. Okay. I haven't seen it. You have to watch it so you can catch up because they just started a new season. I actually was watching the show the other day and I, it made me cry. So I, I really was crying. Oh, I, ever, I don't want to cry. No. Nah. <laughs> Do you ever cry? What's a movie you've cried on before? A movie I've cried on before. It's been a minute. Because I don't, I don't watch sad stuff. It's been a minute. <laughs> you know, I, it had to be set it off at the end when oh. she like got out of the car and just surrendered. We all cried right like, there. <laughs> ah, I'm in a bind, <laughs> Nate. Yeah. We always we cried on we definitely cried on that part. <laughs> I hate when that's oh somebody said Queen of the South. Have you seen that? That I've seen it. I've been that, hearing about it, but I haven't seen it. That's a good show. I watched that last year when I was pregnant, so I had time to be in the bed. But honey, it's okay. about a girl running the whole drug cartel. Girl, she ain't oh. playing no games, sis. Okay, so I'm gonna go check it out. Queen of the South, you did. I feel like that's perfect. <laughs> I feel like that's perfect for you. Yeah, I like to watch um shows too. Okay, so movie buff, we got that. Well, how much do you get to be you're in the studio right now? I'm in the studio right now, but I was yeah. actually doing an interview in the studio. Oh, like, okay. right, so, like, yeah. so she's still working. That's what's up. So during quarantine, you still get to do your um, interview. You still get to do your videos mm -hmm. and photo shoot. So that's really dope. What are you looking forward most to in 2021? Because I feel like this year. Yeah, this year pretty much over. <laughs> Next year, I'm looking forward to a lot. I'm looking forward to, a co of course, more new music. I'm looking forward to the BT Awards. We're yes. looking forward to making the XXL freshman list. We look yes. a whole lot of big things. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. that's so exciting. Well, we definitely are looking forward to uh, watching you come up. And, you know, a lot of things can change really fast. And yes. we, we've seen it happen to other artists. We've seen one year here, the next year, completely yeah. out of there. We definitely see that for you. So even as it's coming fast, you know what I mean? It they is. ground it. Do you have like the same like as far as friend wise? Because you know when you coming up, your cousins and stuff be coming out the woodwork. How do you make sure that you stay grounded right now on your ri rise to the top? Really, I just I'm very spiritual, so I pray a lot. Um, I spend a lot of time by myself to think. You know, I need a lot of time to think, um, especially with everything moving fast. But when it comes to the cousins. I know who my cousins is. <laughs> oh, I ain't got no new cousins. You can't even fool me with the cousins. What's your last name? You said Banks. Uh uh. See, uh uh. See, nah, we we not even gonna do that. Nah. Nah. nah that's real. I do. I do have the same friends though. Like my friends are still my friends. Everything's everything, and you know I'm good right now. I'm in a good space. That's what's up. I'm so glad to. How old are you? Twenty one. See, I'm so glad to hear someone of your age talking about how um, important it is to be with yourself and, it is. and to be your thoughts. I don't know if people realize how much we have to share everything. We have to share. We feel obligated to share, share, share. Even if you're on your phone, it's a little button that say share. You want to share this picture? You want to share this thing? You want to share? And it is. We want to share with our group chat. And sometimes you need to just spend some time with yourself and see how you feel first before you bring you feel me? Exactly. Come on, spiritual. You got crystals and stuff. You know how to do the what? little sound I got six crystals. Paula sent I only have one. I got a pink one. The rose port thing. They said that's for love. I don't oh, have, where you get I that need from? It. You need to DM me. Get it. I need to get you it. know who gave it to me? Um, Ari Lit. Ari Lit. No, you know who gave it to me? Summer Walker. Summer Walker promo group. They did the little um Summer Walker Girls We Love two candle, and they gave you a rose quartz. Um, oh, yes, so it was really cute. But that's the only crystal I have. I don't know anything else about them. But I see a lot of my sisters. They into it. You got to get into that. Like, it's crazy. Once you get into that for real, like, I'm into it for real, for my own situation. For real? But, um, yeah, once you into it, like, it's, yeah. Somebody said you need to rely on all y'all chakras. That's what I need to do, sis. What that mean? Hold on. Like, you know how you, like, aligning your chakras and you, like, meditate and stuff? And oh, it's kind of like a real line of your... Meditating, yes. too, yeah. 
that's what's up. Well, I'm glad to see my young sisters out there getting into that because here I am, 32. I'm just now getting into it. Come on, somebody said, preach. Come on, and this air is popping. Thank Keep the you. unity between Black women in the industry. Exactly. We did talk about that, keeping the unity between Black women in the industry because, one, we smarter than them. Two, it's enough money for what? Everybody. 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 What was the um your favorite video to shoot so far? Because the one in the strip club, I mean... You know what? That's my favorite one right Okay, because it looked fun. I wish I was invited yeah, somewhere yeah. up around around there that's your favorite one so far well, that's definitely up? my favorite one well anything else you want to say to the people real quick all of your fans and all of the, everyone that just tunes in from my side on the Quicksilver show in the DMV I know we're all quarantined right now but when it's time to get it back popping you have to come to DC oh yeah please you haven't been oh, to DC yeah. never wow no. do you like chicken you like chicken I love chicken. Girl, we're going to get you some chicken. We're going to get some mambo sauce on it. Okay? Mambo fries, sauce. That's just fries. with the fries. Okay? okay. And put the and put the mambo sauce all over the chicken and the fries. That's just how we do it in D.C. On the late night tip after the it club. Sound that sounds good. Oh, she down, too? <laughs> you got to come to D.C. when all this is over. But what you want to say to everybody real quick on the Quick Silver Show? Um, just to everybody on here, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. First of all, giving me a piece of y'all's day. Um, but if y'all have not tapped into the tape, go tap into the tape. If y'all haven't watched the two new videos that are out, go tap into those. And just keep streaming, keep looking, keep watching, and stay tuned. Absolutely. Make sure y'all go stream that Bust It, uh, All These Hoes. Uh, that's really what's playing in my car right now, All These Hoes. You know, girl, <laughs> we're just about to pop our shit real quick. Or when I'm working out, yeah. you got to think, I got to work out to that track. Cause I be working out to the world, to the word. It's the right tempo too. Like it, it gets you right. <laughs> you been there this. doing push up all of these hoes. What? Wait till I get this six pack. All of these hoes. What? Wait till. Ooh, what? <laughs> so add it to your workout playlist, or add it to your right around the city playlist. Whatever you want to do, just make sure you stream it. You already at over a million streams, so it's only up for here. And as long as you promise to come to DC when quarantine is over, then we're good to go, sis. I promise to come when it's over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm Dominique Duds, even on the Quicksilver show. And we appreciate you so much. The flow queen right here. Real Erica Banks, Latino ones. Oh, best of luck to you, boo. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. All right. Take care. Thank y'all for tuning in. I got to get back on the radio, but um, make sure y'all go check out busting and all these hoes those are my two favorite but she has a whole project out that's pretty freaking popping okay i'm just here for all of these female rappers to be out at the same time and everybody can get money plus we smarter than these fellas anyway we don't even gotta play it like that that's just how i feel